All right, now let's take a look at what's going on in the world of reporting in our R3 DevCraft release. Now, many of you guys really love Telerik reporting, and that's for good reason. It's our comprehensive cross-platform reporting solution. You get interactive ad hoc report designing, generation, and delivery across a variety of report viewers on web, desktop, and mobile. There are report designers that are both standalone and integrated inside of Visual Studio. You get support for a variety of data sources and being able to export out your reports in different formats for your end users. So what's new in reporting in R3 DevCraft release? Well, lots of things. First, all of your reports now get an optional built-in table of contents. It's just like Word and makes it super easy for users to navigate through the report. You get to define custom interactivity actions, that is application logic that handles what happens when the user clicks on a certain report item in the report viewer. You get added security for your PDF reports through native and encrypted password protection. Other features include now being able to print your reports in continuous paper and performance improvements all throughout. You'll continue to be very happy with Telerik reporting. Now let's switch gears to talk about the Telerik report server. This is our comprehensive report management solution. You get to store, manage, schedule, and view reports. Your users get to sign in with AD authentication and be able to design reports on the fly all from a single responsive web interface. Now, with the R3 DevCraft release, we are adding RESTful APIs on top of just about every report server entity, which is very cool, and it leads to better integration of report server in your application stack. Now, as always, you do need to get the latest bits to see the new features, so go ahead and set up Telerik Report Server. Grab the latest MSI and let it do its thing. Notice how it installs on top of Report Server and starts to configure IIS for you. Once it's done, Telerik Report Server will run as its own site in its own application pool, and you can see all of that in your IIS management console. So let me show you a quick demo of the new RESTful APIs. So here I am on my Windows machine, and you'll notice that in my IIS manager, I do have Telerik Report Server running as its own site in its own application pool. So I can go to my browser, and this is my dashboard for Telerik Report Server. I can manage my categories, my reports, my data connections, and schedule tasks, and users, and so on. Now notice that this is running off my local host and I have two categories of reports. So now if I go to local host, port number, and then API report server slash categories, I get an XML back or JSON back, which has just those two categories of reports. Now back in my dashboard, let's look at my reports. Looks like I have two reports here. So now if I go to local host, API report server reports, I get an XML back with just those two reports, one and two. So now if you go look at the API reference in the Telerik Report Server docs, you'll see that you can have similar access to just about everything, things like data connections, scheduled tasks, and users. And it's not just get, you also get full CRUD operations so you can write data back into the report server. Now, because all of this is RESTful APIs, you can do this from just about any application, console, web, desktop, and mobile, which means better integration of report server in your application stack.